Coming to Canterbury this weekend, corgis, 72 of them. <laughs> They're just great to watch. It's another dog race day where dogs hit the track, uh, tracks between the horse races. Shane Wells has that story for us this morning in Shakopee. You know a story is important when we roll out more than one camera. Today, we have seven cameras to get all the action. A little pre-race race with the corgis who are going to be racing this weekend at Canterbury. Quick introduction and then we'll let them go. Who do you have here? This is Ella representing Fox 9. Wearing number nine. I like it. How about this? This is Remy. Remy, good luck to you. All right, who you got? This is Milo Bigglesworth. Milo Bigglesworth. And is, am I wrong? Did Milo just win a pretty big race? He did. In another state even? Oh, he took second there at Seattle. Second in Seattle, looking for first in Minnesota. All right, who you got here? This is Luigi here. <laughs> Luigi, and on the end? This is Ivy. Ivy. All right, good luck to y'all. On your marks, get set. Today, you win nothing but TV glory. Milo's done this before. Yes, he has. He actually raced at Canterbury last summer and won a uh, champion for the Corgis and then raced against uh, the All Breeds for Battle of the Breeds and won that by a nose. You have a secret here, though, a secret... Uh, um, his, his egg, his magical egg. He will do anything to make sure he is the first Corgi to his egg. So, ah, I see. What is that? It is just a hard, hollow toy that he just runs around and barks at and you can't pick it up so that's why he barks and just chases it. He'll do anything for the egg. <laughs> yes, he'll do anything for the egg. And is he racing this weekend? He is. He's yeah. racing on Sunday here at Canterbury. Okay, perfect. Let's talk a little bit more about the actual races, which by the way, we had just, what, five dogs here? They have 72 dogs that will be racing for all the glory on Sunday. We have Sophia Stanley with us with Canterbury. Okay, you've been a part, they've done the Basset Hound races and the Bulldog races, but the Corgi races are a different story. Yeah, Corgi races are very popular, definitely our most popular. Um, we're very excited to have 72 Corgis here with us on Sunday, July 30th. Um, they will be racing after the third horse race and after the sixth horse race. I know it's not just about the Corgi races too, there's a lot other folded into the day. Yeah, of course. In addition to our Corgi races, um, we also have our Pepsi Family Fun Day. This includes free pony rides, face painting, and kids crafts. Love it. Now, if people are coming, do they need to get tickets ahead of time, get them at the door? What's the best advice? Because it is a pretty wild, crazy busy event. Yeah, we are able to get discounted tickets at tickets.canterbury.com. Perfect. So if you loved watching those five dogs race, just imagine what it's like to watch 72 dogs go through the races. We thank you all for bringing your pups. They were amazing. And again, more of that to come on Sunday here at Canterbury. Back to you. Yeah, that was just fantastic. So we had like fun. eight cameras there. So fun. Shout yeah. out to Siraj for editing yeah. that beautifully. The slow motion. It was everything. Fantastic. <laughs> it, it did not disappoint.